Welcome back folks for another ball review. This one for the Storm Supernova. We're gonna jump right in, throw in some shots as far right as I can get for now and then we'll kind of jump, uh, or rather we'll kind of migrate left. The Supernova is the newest asymmetrical solid Storm Ball on the market. So it features the core, which was in the original Nova, and that NEX solid cover stock was featured most recently on the Proton Physics. So the Proton and the Nova, at least in our area, huge sellers, really popular, so I really like the combination, at least on paper. And so far it seems to be performing well too. These are not my first shots with this ball. I have thrown it a little bit in league. We have one center right now that's really, really slick for the house shot, so it's been nice to have the first game or two because this ball is extremely strong in my limited experience. It outhooks my reality. This is kind of my more up the back release, a little bit less axis rotation. I kept that one in the puddle and it didn't tip up, but the two that caught friction faced up great. So, about what you'd expect out of a solid ASIM. The proton physics for me was a little bit slow, so it was great on uh, places with really quick back ends or really high volume if I wanted to keep the ball in front of me. The Nova, because the cover is a little bit weaker than what is typically on a core like that, was actually really usable for me on the house shot here when they were hooking a bit more. That R2X hybrid that's on the Nova is just a step up from R2S, which for me demands quite a bit of friction. So uh, the Nova needed a little bit. I couldn't really throw it if they were super clipped because it wouldn't pick up in the oil. And I'll try to put one more. I might give this one a little more room in that same area, and then we'll keep going left and maybe add some axis rotation. Oh, and it gets hits. As far as shape differences, so obviously the cover on this and the Proton are the same, so you think, oh, they're gonna be about the same strength. I would say that that's accurate, but the shapes almost couldn't be more different. I was a huge fan of the original physics, which is uh, identifiably smooth and even and continuous. Where the Nova makes a bigger move for me off the spot. So in this supernova, what I was hoping to see was something sort of like a reality, but maybe even a little bit stronger. And that's exactly what I did see. It's, a, it's similar in that it's a big solid asymmetrical that picks up in the mid lane. It's very strong front to back, but doesn't burn up or deflect or lose energy as bad as some of the other ones that are on the market. But it outhooks the reality quite a bit, which I've got one up here to compare to. So we're gonna move in and get in a little bit stronger hand here. This is three left with the feet. This one is that box surface that came a bit dull, which I wasn't sure I was gonna keep it that way, but it's got some oil in it, so it's really good to go across the pattern and not have to slow it down and make it pick up. I can just be pretty firm and let it work. I'm really excited to have this piece. It's a little more of an angular, um, solid asymmetrical ball. 
it's not quite as usable as the reality because it is earlier and the cover is a little bit stronger. So I'm going to need a little bit more oil than I need for the reality. But overall, I really see me throwing this uh, on dead fresh house shots that have a bunch in the middle and tough conditions that are long. You see it's pretty early, but it still reads uh, the back part of the lane really well. It doesn't get forward or straighten out or, uh, or bail and kind of deflect through that nine pin. It really drives through the eight nine nicely. Go with another few left here. And as I get into the puddle a little bit, I might end up having to gear down some and soften up and let it pick up. If you followed along on my ball reviews for a while, you know that Millennium typically does have some friction. Our house shots had quite a bit uh, in the middle here the last, really since the beginning of the fall season. So going across it either demands a really big ball or a little really soft speed or both. And that one actually bit pretty early. I got around it pretty good. And you saw it slow down. So we'll just keep going left. These, these are dead fresh. I threw six or eight shots of practice to warm up and then we went right into filming. So our house shot here at Millennium Bowl is 43 feet in length this season about 25 mils, uh, fairly big ratio. So we've got quite a bit of hook to the right and quite a bit of oil in the middle. So we're gonna go two and two off of that almost four nine there. That'll really get me into that puddle and keep the ball in there longer. Maybe it won't overreact like it just did. Not my best shot. And still got the 10 out. I really like what Storm did with the Supernova complementing the Nova where they went up in the formula of the cover stock rather than just going to the solid version of the cover that was featured on the original Nova. Try to put one there, but get it off my hand a little better. Good shot. The NEX solid cover stock featured on this Supernova is a step up from the R2X hybrid that's featured on the Nova. So like I was saying, I really like that they step to the covers rather than just doing a solid and a hybrid because I feel like they would be really, really similar. Where now there's enough separation that I have room for both and they're not even really near each other. I might have a ball or two in between them. Let's try to put one there again. So it goes with the pins really well. I don't get a lot of these, um, these kind of big hits with the solids a lot because they tend to deflect and burn up a little bit where this one really drives through them better than most of the other solid asymmetricals that I've thrown on the house shot. So for a solid asymmetric ball that's relatively strong off the spot, I still have a good bit of shim, which normally I kind of have to pick. If I want something really angular, it's not gonna give me shim. If I want something smoother, it's not gonna give me this right. Pretty good shot. And that's quite a bit of angle, so we'll soften up and see if I can get it around it. My tilt isn't very high, so these covers really want to dig in as soon as they see friction. It makes balls like this really responsive to that friction to the right, so they see it and they get forward really quick. So we'll soften up, see if I can get it there. And almost messenger the 10, so a little deep for the ball here. On the fresh. So what we're gonna do now is go one back right with the feet. It's 
since getting it right early wasn't getting it to drive, we'll try to kind of belly it. And see if it'll get through there. And it tickled them out. It did hydroplane a little bit. But I got the hit. We like a ball that gives you the off hits. All right, so we've seen the Supernova a little bit just kind of on its own. Let's go first to a reality. I brought a gem up here as well. The reality to me is the closest comparison to something current. I'm going to go back right where I was kind of lined up with the Supernova. And we'll see what the reality does. This reality has got a lot of games on it, but it's pinned down in a little bit stronger pin position. So they should be relatively close. And I got that one right. Shredded the four pin. So we'll try to get this one kind of in that same spot. We'll go back right where we were lined up. We'll try to kind of feed it right, just like we did the reality and see if it comes off of it as well. I think it'll go high flush. And that it is. So you saw it read up a little bit earlier. Again, that reality has got some games on it. But in general, the reality is a bit cleaner than the Supernova because I think that reality cover stock is a little bit weaker and cleaner overall. All right, so back to the reality. We'll try to get one a little further left down the lane here, a little closer to target. Better. Almost messenger the 10, but a little soft. Of really close hits there. A little soft, a little bit of deflection out of both balls there, keeping them in the oil. Okay, so we'll try the reality further right and a little bit, axis, a little bit less axis rotation, and I'll show you kind of my preferred use for the reality here. For me, the reality is great when I can kind of trap it along that oil line on the house shot or on a lower ratio pattern, I can kind of move right into where there would traditionally be hang and use that and kind of use it as hold. So we'll see if the supernova will stay there and do the same thing. And you saw it pick up a little bit earlier. Here. That oil line kind of sits somewhere between 12 and 15 down lane. I think it's supposed to be around 12 or 13. So we'll just try to throw a couple more good comparison shots here with the reality and the supernova so you can see the shape difference. So we saw the supernova compared to the reality. Now we're going to see it compared to the gym. So again, I'm going to scooch back a little right here. The track's kind of gone for these big balls already, but we're going to get back maybe third arrow-ish. So the gym and the supernova that I have here are both drilled identically. Uh, they're both pin up. Those for me are better on fresh when they're slick because they sort of kick off the back of the pattern. They move uh, and make a big motion before they get forward. 
So they're better whenever I have to play fresh because I can be a little further left, but a little straighter and create that area with something a little more forgiving. The down stuff sort of overreads the back and over continues. And if I miss just a smidge in or get it a little bit straight down the lane, it goes to the face. So Supernova way earlier, way stronger off the spot as well. We're gonna go left here a little bit and see if we can get in the Supernova's wheelhouse a little bit. A little inside. Red up, got through it. Most of my stuff will plaque 10 if I get it in there. Playing this particular line. So as we can see, the gym looks a little bit smoother, a little more continuous off of the spot. A little rollier where the supernova keeps going and drives a little more where it's almost more angular. I hate to call such a big smooth ball angular, but I think it's more angular than the gym. And we'll make another move left here. just tickles them out on the move left so we'll see what the supernova looks like from in there and we went from a super light hit to a little bit of a plaque 10 I got the supernova I sort of kept it in and got it right so it had a little more ground to cover so same thing here we'll just give kind of a quick shot group comparison between these two balls. Well, there you have it folks, the all new Storm Supernova. Uh, this ball for me uh, stacked up really well to the gem and the reality, which are kind of the two um, that we have right now up in this hook potential category. The Proton for me is sort of below those two in terms of usability because it doesn't go left to right as well. This one, as you saw, went left to right really well and was quite a bit earlier than uh, the reality, at least uh, that older reality that I threw it against, uh, but it did overall hook a couple of boards more. So having a step up from the reality is impressive because that reality does hook so much. It's also nice to see a ball that still continues and gets through the pins because that's what makes the reality so special is it reads the mid lane. It's very strong front to back, but it doesn't lock up and get forward. It does get through the pins and continue really, really well. I saw something really similar out of this supernova. So again, I'm a real big fan of this uh, NEX solid cover stock on this Nova core because I think it creates a really nice step uh, from the Nova up to the Supernova. Whereas if I think they had gone with R2X solid, they'd be really, really close to each other and it'd be a really minor shape difference more than it would be a one and a two as far as total strength. Release date on this thing is September 23rd. Go to your local pro shop and get yours uh, on that release date or pre-order yours if you'd like to get it through Millennium Bowling Supply. Uh, drop by and see me or uh, shoot me a message. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Storm Nation.